Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm a sophomore at Lincoln High School. You know! And my poem is titled, Fear. Fear is your body across the street. Fear is never knowing where you'll be. You're always creeping like a predator hunting his prey. And fear once was the way your eye twitches, before the flinches, before the boom. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Fear became losing myself. Knowing these apologies were empty, like milk jugs after weeks of being too lazy for anything but cereal, I still listened. I listened the first time, and the second time, and the time you had too much to drink. But I forgave you. Fear was running out of concealer. If I can't see it, it's not really there, but I could feel it. I could feel your hands on my neck. They still held them, and I could feel my heartbeat and where your hands touched. And even now, I still see the ghost of your fist, and I see your face and my scars, the scars that you so lovingly gave me. Fear was that my mother would see. She turned the car into an interrogation room. How do you tell a mother something you refuse to believe? The hard hands of anger on your daughter isn't something I want her to see. You may have hurt me, but you won't hurt her. When I was younger, fear was spiders crawling out of dark corners and grabbing me in my sleep. But now fear is you looking in the dark, and I am afraid of the dark, not because I can't see my own hands, but because I wouldn't be able to see yours. But sometimes I remember the butterflies you gave me. And I always wondered why I felt sick before I saw you. They were rotten butterflies. Love shouldn't scare me sick. Love shouldn't hurt. Love shouldn't trigger my fight or flight response. I wanted to fly, but the butterflies you gave me had holes in their wings, and I've never been a fighter. When people ask me, why didn't you leave him? I don't know. Maybe it's because sometimes when he hit me, it felt like a kiss, and maybe I still hurt, and maybe I still write poems about it, because maybe survivors don't always have to be strong. And maybe I didn't leave him because him being with me meant he couldn't hurt anyone else. Fear is still his body across the street, even though we both moved on and he moved out months ago and he left me bruised like an old banana. But bruise is fate. And now he's on a new block in a new neighborhood with a new girl. But now my biggest fear is that he treats her like he treated me. Thank you.